Hey guys. <laughs> so it's been a while I don't go live. So I figure I jump in here because I guess I'm wearing people out. <laughs> so I wanted to come in here and kind of explain a few things to you guys. <clears throat> so as some as you may know, and don't look at the time on my clock because my clock stopped working. I need a new one. <laughs> Ooh, that means shopping. <laughs> We just got paid yesterday, so I can go shop. <laughs> um, but, um, so, hey, Michelle. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, I, um, as some of you may know, I am um, prepping right now to compete in a... Um, bodybuilding competition at the end of the year in November. Um, I am going to be doing the bikini division, um, masters probably, because I'm old. <laughs> yes, I am over 40. <laughs> um, maybe some of you may not realize that, but I am over 40 years old, so I will probably do masters and open and whatnot for the ones that understand that kind of lingo. But, um, I don't want people to worry. Uh, I have been by my mom and by other people uh, being told that I am way too skinny. Um, I promise you I am eating plenty of food, lots of protein, lots of veggies. Um, I am putting the best nutrition in the market. Thrive girl, right? Um, I am doing everything that I can to stay healthy. Uh, and put lots of nutrients that it will help my body, my joints, um, just to keep up with what I'm putting my body through right now. And even though you may think I am, I look skinny because I don't look like, you know, like I normally would look, it's because I am putting my body to lose a lot of fat. And why is that? Because I need to be able to show my muscles. Okay, so this is not the, the kind of exercises or not even the exercises because the exercises all of you can do, um, but the kind of diet I do and what I put my body through, it is not for everyone. Okay, it is it is not for people to, to just do it or or to keep up for long, long, long periods of time. So it's, it's not a it's not that kind of lifestyle. Right. Um, yes, I can. I can. When I get to a certain point, I will try to maintain um, you know that, but I will bring more body fat into my body after my competition, but I have to be as thin as possible to be able to show what I've been working so hard at the gym at. I mean, like I have muscle, it's like, I am not skinny ass, you know, like I have, you know, yes, I have my abs and whatnot, but it's, it's muscle. Okay. Um, I am not falling apart. I am not sick. Um, yes, is my body going through a lot? Do I need a little bit of extra help? All that kind of stuff. Of course, I, I am working out twice a day. Uh, most of the time, you know, I'm, I'm lifting a lot of weight or, you know, I'm doing certain things. But understand, I am healthy. I promise. Um, I am not hurting myself in any way, shape or form. Um, I'm just putting my body through um, something that I've never gone through before um, and that not everyone has to go through, okay? So what I'm doing is not for everyone. Not everyone stands doing it. We get to like, they call it the fog um, because of our diet. You know, I removed a lot of my carbs right now during the week at this point. So um, it gets me a little bit extra tired. Uh, but thank God for Thrive, because I don't think I could be functioning right now um, without it. Um, I have still the energy to do everything that I need to do. I do all my business. I still part of my BNI group, which is the Business International Network, um, a chapter that I'm part of. 
uh, which I meet with a lot of entrepreneurs and we help each other grow our business. I still take care of my customers. I still, you know, help my team. So just understand as like I am staying very active, very busy. I'm doing a lot, but I am staying healthy. I eat six times a day. <laughs> so it's not that I am starving myself. I eat a lot of food all the time. And you can ask my husband and any of my friends that are around me. I am always eating. Even on meetings, I am eating because when it's time to eat, I gotta eat because um, I have a very strict times when I eat my foods. So I am enjoying this journey. Um, it is definitely um, a hard journey. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, posing is crazy, by the way. It's not as easy as it looks, especially when you're super tired after a workout. Doing those posing practices is a lot, but it is fun. And it's I am really enjoying the journey and learning so much and the perseverance and the dedication and the, the, the mental... The, the, mind that you have to have like that mindset you have to have to overcome so many obstacles because it would be so much easier to just don't get up and eat that food or I don't want to eat the same thing every day and I want to enjoy the same thing that my you know my family is eating you know I want to do and and that's great you, you can do that when you are not trying to achieve a goal like I am, it is okay to have your cheat meal and to have, you know, you know, to go out with your friends and have your little, you know, glass of wine or your beard or go and eat your burgers and your pizza. Enjoy, enjoy. Right now, that is not what I'm looking for. I am literally wanting to get on stage and bring the best package that I can. And I'm still struggling because I was so overweight for so many years. I was so, I hold so much fat. My skin, especially around my legs, they're loose. And they are not tight where they need to be. My upper body is a lot tighter than my lower body which is where I am struggling so much right now and that I'm hoping that in the next 18 weeks, because today marks 18 weeks from the day of competition. Hi, Mary. Um, I am hoping that my skin gets tight enough not to jiggle too much in time when I'm walking on stage because that's not what we want. We want to be tight and showing the muscles because I do have the muscles. There's certain ways that I... I post myself on and that I can flex and you can see the definition in the muscles that is something that I've been working so hard on um, but I still have a lot of loose skin um, my cellulite has gotten a lot better that's starting to you know look more smoother uh, but I still have a lot long way to go and I have 18 weeks to achieve that goal so just, you know, just know that I am doing everything that I can to take care of myself, to rest as much as I can, to, um, to eat the best as I can. I eat very clean. The difference is that I am not putting a lot of shit in my body. I am literally eating very, very clean right now. So of course, I am not going to, you know, be holding a lot of fat. Um, actually, right now, when my uh, coach um, measured me uh, today, I my body fat right now is at 11%, which is fantastic. Since I started this journey earlier in the uh, with him, since I changed to him to now, I have actually lost 12% body fat. That is huge, okay? for a woman to be at the body fat that I am right now, which is fantastic for bodybuilding um, because I can show my muscles a lot better. Um, and I have gained five pounds of muscle. That is fantastic. Like, I am so happy to hear that. So just know, to please continue me, share me on. You have made leaps and bounds since I saw you in person. Yes, Shannon, yes I have. <laughs> I definitely have. It's like, just 
keep me on your prayers, keep pushing me, keep giving me thumbs up, you know, it's like follow my journey because without you guys, you know, I where would I be, right? Like I, I love to be able to inspire other women. I've had a couple of messages from other women that want to take their, you know, their lifestyle to completely a different way because I have, I have inspired them to do that. Because from going to 200 pounds, yes, I used to weigh 205 pounds. And most people look at me right now and say like, oh, well, she's so skinny. No, I had to work for this. I had to change my lifestyle. I have to do what was right for my body to be where I am today. So I took care of me and you can take care of yourself and you can achieve any goals that you want. And no, not everyone wants to be a bodybuilder. I never thought I was gonna be a bodybuilder, never in my entire life. I thought that I would do something like that, but you know what? And it's like, I want to take my experience to a completely different level, right? And it's like, this is not about weight loss anymore for me. I lost my weight. I wanna push my body and transform it into something that I will never imagine before that I could do because I can, because I have the power to do so, because I am the one that have to wake up every morning and I have to feed myself and I have to go work out and I have to do everything that I need to do. Everything else that I don't do is excuses. If I don't do it, it's an excuse because I can do it. And I want to show everyone that if they want to change their lifestyle and they want to change their life, they can do it as well. I never experienced a product like Lavelle. Never, ever in my entire life thought that a product could give me the health that I needed to achieve goals that I never even imagined, never even dreamed of to have. Because this product works. This product has completely changed my life. But not only that, I have the time and I have the energy because I work this business from anywhere, anywhere that I am. So I am able to stay at home. I am able to be at the gym and work. I'm able to be in my car and work. I'm able to go anywhere. I can meet people. I can travel and I can still work my business and I can take care of my family and I can still take care of me. So I love what I do. 110%. I am excited about what next is coming, y'all. Something big is coming again with Lavelle. So you gotta watch out for that, okay? And it's like, because when that next product hits, it's gonna be huge, huge. So just know that everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it for me, but I am making sure I'm staying the healthiest as I can to be there for my family as well. Now, am I gonna be grumpy by the end of it? Probably, because I'm barely gonna be eating, because I'm gonna have to put my body through a lot. But that is a choice that I'm making. And that is exactly what it is. It's a choice. Everything that we do every single day is a choice. So what is your choice? What did you do this morning? What did you decide you were going to do today to change your life? Physically, health-wise, family-wise, financial-wise, what did you do today to make it better? That is exactly what you need to be asking yourself. Not what other people are doing, it's what you're doing. What are you doing for you? Are you worth it? Or is everyone else worth it but yourself? Because if you're telling that to yourself, you are lying to yourself. Because you are able to do anything that you put your mind into it. No matter the disability, no matter the money, no matter what your tools are, find them. Find those tools, find that power. Look, Trini, Trini, you are an example of that because you finish your college degree with everything else that could have not happened if you choose to just sit around and just dwell on things. You did it. And I was so happy when you got your diploma and that you're following your dreams of what the things you wanna do. So just know guys that everything is possible in life. All you want, you have to do is want it bad enough and wake up every morning and go for it. So 
If you do anything today, just take that. That it is a choice. Everything that you do every single day, it's your choice. What is it that you want? Go for it. Don't let anyone get on the way from that. You're the only one that had the power to do that. Love you. Bye.